And that's exactly how Andrew and Karen Smith felt when they took on this 500-year-old cow shed. Yes, cow shed in North Wales. We've always liked the idea of um, renovating somewhere, um, barn conversion, that type of project. And we looked on the internet, and this came up under Wreck of the Week. And it certainly was, it was terrible. We had no intent, we sort of looked at it and thought, oh, you must be mad to do something like that. But we came along and had a look, and it was a beautiful sunny oh, day, wasn't yeah, it? It was, gorgeous, it was just yeah. lovely. And there was something, there was a magic about the place that just caught us. And we just found ourselves saying, wouldn't it be fantastic if we could make this livable? Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could bring this back to life? You could see the potential. You know, you, you could imagine a patio out there and gin and tonics overlooking the bay. And it, it was just, you had to have the vision, but we could both see that we could do something with it. They bought the property for £205,000 and spent a further £250,000 renovating it. It took 16 months of hard graft, but they now have this stunning three-bed family home. So our key was to keep it as traditional as we possibly could and not have it look like some, you know, a modern glass and steel building with views over the bays. We wanted it to look like it should look. Uh, and be a traditional build. It's fantastic, we've still got the original brickwork and the big stones and things that were put up 500 years ago. You know, it's, it's awesome, really. Uh, our input into the building has been very much one of project management. Uh, we haven't, you know, got our hands dirty putting walls up and woodwork up, but when you're going to be living in it yourself, you need to be able to change things if they're not quite right. And because we project managed it quite closely, we were able to do that. I think it's important. Life, life is so frantic for most of us, um, and rightly so in, in times. If you've got something, if you've got a dream, you should go for it. The worst that can happen is it fails, but at least you've tried. If you don't try, you'll never know.